Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, The Key Is Me, and I am back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you these bomb faux locks that I have in my hair right now. This hair was sent to me by Janet Collection. This is their 2X Jumbo Rockin' Mumble Locks. Y'all, I am loving, loving, loving the way that this turned out. This made me want to go and book me a flight to Jamaica. I'll go to my favorite Caribbean restaurant and get me some oxtails with some rice and peas, some cabbage. Ooh, that sounds so, so, so good right now. Anyways, let me get back to this video before I get hungry at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> so I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this look. So I did go ahead and let my sister braid my hair down. And let me tell y'all how good of a sister she is. She is nine months pregnant. Well, she was. She literally just had my niece yesterday. So it's Tuesday. She had my niece on Monday. But Sunday night that nine months pregnant about to get ready to deliver her baby she decided to braid my hair down so that i can create this crochet look isn't that such the sweetest thing ever oh it just touched my heart love 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 my sister she did some braids going straight back i believe she did 10 between 10 and 12 braids going straight back it was 10 she did 10 braids going straight back and then that was halfway and then in the back she just connected those braids with five other braids so that is my braiding pattern. I went ahead and I laid my edges down with got to be glue. That's usually what I use to lay my edges down. With this hair, I use um, five packs of the Rockin' Mumble Locks. I'm surprised that I only use five packs too because they sent me seven. And I think one of the reasons why I only use five is because as you can see, this hair isn't the typical crochet hair that has the loop already attached to it because usually when you get the faux locks it only comes with one piece and i believe that that's the reason why they call it the 2x jumbo is because once you get the hair you'll see that you have two sides to the actual faux lock so when you put it in your head instead of it only being one faux lock it's actually two if you get the drift and you feel where I'm coming from. Usually when you do other faux locks, they have just that one faux lock that you just put in the hair. But with this one, you're actually putting it through the braid and actually tying it. And because of that, I do believe that you want to make sure you're, when you're doing this style, your braids aren't as small as mine. So maybe instead of doing 10, maybe just do eight going straight back because with my braids being so small and them being so tight, I did have an extremely hard time trying to stick this thick piece of hair through the actual hole to make a loop. Because again, these don't come with the individual loops. I love, love, love how they already give you the hair jewels that comes in a bag. So as you can see, they're individually packaged inside of the hair. I love that. Isn't that such a nice touch? It comes with three silver rings and it comes with three gold rings. So of course, as you can see, I only use the gold ones. I did not use all of them that came in all of the five packs. I believe I have two more left that I'll probably go in and add in later. But as far as the hair, the, as you can see, they are um, chunky. They are chunky locks, so they're not small and thin as well. The hair is sticking together and it is shedding. If it's already tangling now and I haven't even slept on it yet, I can only imagine um, what it's going to be like. And that's the reason why I always sleep in a silk bonnet as well. So you definitely want to make sure that you're wrapping your hair up at night. This is the first time I've ever did a faux lock where I did not have to use a lot of packs. So honestly, I just, I really love this particular faux locks that Janet Collection has created. I did not have to put anything on the hair. The only thing that I had to do is some of the ends were coming apart. All I did was take the palm of my hands and rub it together with the heat. It kind of already, I just rubbed my hands together and I just formed the lock back together. So I'll demonstrate on this one. Let 
And as you can see, that's the result of that one. So again, if your ends get a little messed up, that's something that you can do on yours. I'll demonstrate on this one as well. So you see this one? And that's the result of that. I love how these locks gave me that that bob cut. I did not have to cut this hair. I believe the inch on this hair is a 12 inch and I do have it in the color one. I did not make them full so they definitely definitely can be fuller than what they are now but I, did, I didn't want to go for that look so this is why I only use five packs. I could go ahead and put the other two packs in but I did not want it to be full because to me I feel like when it's less full it looks more natural so that's the reason why I've only used five packs use what's best for you this is what I use to create the look that I was going for I do believe that you can dip this hair in hot water as well to tame the ends and that may help with a, a little bit of the frizziness and you can add mousse to it as well I didn't add any mousse to it but I definitely think that's something that I'm going to add tonight before I put my bonnet on I'm going to put all of the information down in the description box for you to be able to purchase this hair. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.